Check it. Alright, what's up? You are back for another video with Data Zero. In this video, we're going to talk about Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency market. I'm going to show you guys up and coming altcoins making gains. I'm also going to show you why Bitcoin is about to make a nice pumped it upside and we're going to talk about the bitcoin bull market that is starting to shape up and i do think is going to occur here into the future of 2024 and 2025 so with that being said let's go ahead and hop in the charts and show you guys why bitcoin is going to be one of the most valuable assets that you could ever accumulate in your life not financial advice let's go ahead and hop in and see what is going on all right what is up you are back for another video with data zero in this video we'll be looking at bitcoin and the cryptocurrency market i want to give you guys a quick bitcoin and cryptocurrency market update as we do have bitcoin forming this bull flag right here at about thirty thousand dollars this is the initial push that i do think we're going to see to the upside and again once bitcoin breaks and holds thirty one thousand breaks and holds thirty one thousand point five to be exact we're going to see a massive push up for bitcoin now we could see an initial pullback underneath this level, but I want to point out this bull flag that we are forming right now. This is extremely bullish as we do hold that 29K as support and make this bull flag. We could see a push up to about 32,000, getting initial push up and then see it actually come below 31,000 and then consolidate again and push to the upside. And I'm going to tell you guys why I do think that here in a second. So let's show you guys the daily RSI. I want to show you guys the daily RSI for Bitcoin. Now, Bitcoin can run RSI very, very high, as you guys can see. Bitcoin can run RSI quite high to the upside. So we could see this bull flag form push up. And let me move, scroll to the side so you guys can see a little bit more clearly the price. Go ahead and push up to about 32, 33,000, okay? Breaking this yellow support and resistance that you see right market in yellow. Breaking above that. And then coming back down and then retesting 31,000 as support and then using 31,000 as support and then run to the upside. So we could definitely see that because RSI is able to run hot on Bitcoin. But what has me a little bit worried is RSI is in the over bought territory as of right now so we could see an initial pullback to the downside but i'm going to tell you guys why i actually don't think that's going to happen and why i think we are going to see that push to about 32k 33k here right now so i'm going to show you guys bitcoin if you don't know has options basically it has options um and that you can go short and long on and as you guys can see it is absolutely stacked short now everyone's saying well if bitcoin goes down won't that cause Bitcoin to go down a lot? Yes, yes, it will. It will cause Bitcoin to go down a lot because it exacerbates the moves. That's why Bitcoin moves so much because we do have this options uh, derivatives market. But Bitcoin is holding support. What I think is going to happen is I think a lot of people are thinking Bitcoin's about to pull back. And what I think is about to happen is Bitcoin's about to get another short squeeze move to the upside. I do think we're going to get a nice push to the upside, getting a short squeeze move to the upside as all of these shorts get liquidated and we see Bitcoin absolutely rocket up to about 32, 33K. That's what I think is setting up right now as we break this bull flag and hold bullish port here at 29,000. So that is what I'm looking at for Bitcoin and Bitcoin, of course, does lead the cryptocurrency market. So if you do hold other cryptocurrencies like altcoins and stuff like that, your altcoins will see gains once Bitcoin moves up. And once Bitcoin breaks this 31,000 and holds it as support, which I think is about to happen, I think we're about to get that push to 32K, come back down to about 31K, hold it as support, and then consolidate and move to the upside. Um, let me give you guys a kind of a price path to show you guys what that would look like here. I'm going to give you guys a polyline to show you guys basically what i'm expecting to happen so bitcoin basically break out of this bull flag moving to the upside moving past that 32,000 range uh getting an initial push to about 32 33,000, then coming back down to this line here and then kind of consolidating around this range above 31,000. just consolidate 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 getting our side to cool down and then we see uh another push to the upside using that 31,000 as support and then see a higher run to about 40,000 in my personal opinion. Now, why do I think Bitcoin is going so high? Let's go ahead and look at the macro and show you guys why I think Bitcoin has a lot more move or a lot more room to run to the upside. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop on the super trend and show you guys two things. So we have this technicals here 
of the breakout of this massive falling wedge from the last bull market. As you guys can see, we're holding macro support here in the white. It's a macro support as it's been support for months now. We're holding this, moving this up to the upside. I do think Bitcoin is going to approach these higher levels. And if we go ahead and pop on the super trend and show you guys what I'm looking at for the weekly time frame, you guys can see that we have this buy signal. This buy signal on the weekly time frame marks major, major bull runs for Bitcoin. You can see this last bull rally here, this last bull rally here, this last bull rally here. And now we have that Bitcoin buy signal on the daily time frame again on the super trend buy signal make marking another Bitcoin bull rally that I do think is going to continue in 2024, 2025 and break all time highs for Bitcoin approaching about 80 to 100 K in my personal opinion. That is just what I'm looking at around the year of 2024, 2025. I think Bitcoins are going to start this move to the upside. I think buying Bitcoin here down here is going to be a historic low that will not be returned to. You will not be able to buy Bitcoin for these prices ever again once we get this last next bull rally because it's going to use previous support and resistance and just keep moving to the upside. That's what I think is going to happen for Bitcoin. I think it's going to be one of the best asset classes and one of the most valuable assets classes of all if we look at the fear and greed you guys can see that it is moving slightly into greed again you want to accumulate under the thirty-one thousand range in my personal opinion but if you cannot buy under thirty-one thousand, here is a great time to buy again in my personal opinion not financial advice we can see that bitcoin dominance is up to 48 percent, so bitcoin dominance is very very high and it is leading the market. I think it will continue to lead the market until we have a major bull run. Then we'll see money start to flow in all coins. This happens every single time for Bitcoin. Let's go ahead and look at the Ethereum charts. Show you guys what we're looking at for Ethereum. Again, Ethereum's in a falling wedge. Ethereum is the leader of the altcoins. Bitcoin is the leader of all coins, um, including Ethereum. But Bitcoin or Ethereum is the leader of the altcoins. As you guys can see, Ethereum is basically testing this breakout of this falling wedge on the bigger time frames. I do think we're going to see this pushed upside that we are seeing now. I've talked about this in my last videos. Now we're seeing that retest, and I do think it's going to actually move to about 21K, 2.1K. In my personal opinion, after consolidation here, I do think we're going to see an initial push up for Ethereum as it does follow Bitcoin and Bitcoin makes this move to the upside. So this is what I'm looking at guys, for the cryptocurrency market. As you guys can see, we do have altcoins making gains, BCH making gains, XRD making gains, FTT making gains. I would not buy FTT. Um, Near NEAR making gains as well. So we do have altcoins making gains, mixed bag of altcoins. Let's go ahead and look at the social metrics for altcoins. You can see BCH is making waves on the social metrics. So again, um, this lunar crush site is a great way to find all coins before they make moves. You can see that when all coins are talked about, like near protocol, you see start they they start to make moves. So as you guys can see, near is making moves. You go ahead and go to lunar crush. You can see that near is making moves at number three, and of course it's making gains as well. So this is a great way to find coins that are about to make moves. You can see ape down here about to make a move probably. Um, in my personal opinion, not financial advice. So this is what I'm looking at for the cryptocurrency market. I will keep posting about the cryptocurrency market after MOAS and AMC MOAS. I will be focusing on the cryptocurrency market. If you do watch my videos for AMC, if you just watch my videos for cryptocurrencies, I do crypt post cryptocurrency at least twice a week. And I will be posting more cryptocurrencies than I post shorts all the time. So if you find the cryptocurrency market informative in this information informative go ahead and drop a like and subscribe for more content like this as always have fun stay safe make money peace out all right y'all yeah, that was the video if you found it informative go ahead and drop a like subscribe for more content like this and remember you can check me out on twitter and discord for even more data zero updates link down in the comment section below and as always have fun stay safe make money peace out